Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today toured Bahrain International Airport to review developments on the airport expansion project and the readiness of the new passenger terminal building in advance of its opening. During the visit, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister noted that strategic infrastructure projects reflect the Kingdom's progress in developing its national economy and supporting the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. In this regard, His Royal Highness directed for operations of the new passenger terminal building to begin on the 28th of January. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the skill and dedication demonstrated by Bahrainis working together to enhance important national assets in the kingdom, adding that the airport expansion project will enhance the kingdom's connectivity and further strengthen its position as an increasingly important hub in the region. Moreover, the program project provides quality opportunities for citizens within the kingdom's logistics sector, a key priority sector of Bahrain's diversify diversifying economy. His Royal Highness then toured the new passenger terminal building accompanied by the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. During the tour, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister was briefed by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Kamal bin Ahmed, on the latest developments of the airport expansion project, as well as the completion of the new passenger terminal building, designed and constructed using the latest innovative technologies and consistent with international standards and environmental mental best practice. For his part, Kamal bin Ahmed expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's continued commitment to the Kingdom's logistics sector, adding that developments within the sector will contribute to achieving Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, supporting the development of a sustainable and diversified economy. He further added that the project will serve as a major driving force for the Kingdom's trade, tourism and travel sectors.
The personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Seas Motorsport 2 teams winning first place in the Gulf Endurance GT 12 hour car race led by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which was held in Bahrain International Circuit with the participation of a wide range of world teams. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad affirmed that the royal patronage of various Bahraini sports and teams received in their international participation is a motivation to demonstrate the development of Bahraini sports during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King and an embodiment of the prominent role and remarkable efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah said that the Seas Motorsports two teams winning first place in the Gulf race comes as an extension of the continuous successes achieved by Bahraini motorsport and its distinguished representation of Bahrain in major forms, noting that the achievement is a large motivation for the team to continue reaping achievements in the coming period. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah praised the outstanding efforts made by Bahrain International Circuit in organizing the race, which reflects the capabilities of Bahraini competencies. His his Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Hamad dedicated the achievement to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, hailing their support to the team. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah also praised the unlimited support the team received from His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Isa expressed his pleasure at the team's victory, adding that the team gave a distinguished performance throughout the race, which affirms its status and the driver's capabilities. At the end of the race, the CEO of Bahrain International National Circuit, Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa, honored the top winners. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the victory of the Seas Motorsports 2 team embodies the outstanding patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for Bahraini sports and the prominent role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa's leadership of the team sees motorsports too which resulted in winning first place in the gulf 12 hour annual gt endurance race held in bahrain international circuit he praised the support of his highness sheikh abdullah of the team his highness also congratulated his highness sheikh isa bin abdullah stressing that this achievement affirms the kingdom's position in motorsports highlighting his highness sheikh isa bin abdullah's successful leadership of the team sheikh nasa noted that this victory is motivation to achieve further successes for bahrain in all sporting events which the team continued success. 
A joint intergovernmental parliamentary meeting was held remotely, headed by the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal, with the participation of Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, and in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid al Zayani, Minister of Parliament Affairs, Ghanem bin Fadl al Bouinain, and a number of officials to inform the Legislative Authority of the results of the Gulf Summit held recently in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Zainal affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, has made efforts and high level contributions to promote reunification and unity of rank, solidarity, and enhancing joint action between the GCC countries. She also affirmed the Parliament's keenness to provide support for the national efforts based on the principles and values that characterize Bahrain's approach based on mutual respect, solidarity at the level of work among all of them. and the strengthening of Gulf cohesion to achieve the common entrance of GCC states. The Shura Council held its weekly session remotely presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. The session approved a draft law amending Article 1 of the GCC Trademarks Law and referred it to the Council of Representatives. The meeting also approved the recommendation of the Public Utilities and Environment Committee to approve a draft law amending certain provisions of the municipality's law. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has strongly condemned the Qatari Coast Guard's arrest of Bahraini bodybuilding champion Sami Al Haddad while he was on a fishing cruise with a number of his companions in the Bahraini territorial waters. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs called on the Qatari authorities to immediately release the Bahraini citizen Sami Al Haddad and his companions and to stop attacking Bahraini fishermen at sea and unfairly arrest them. Qatari authorities have arrested Bahraini bodybuilding champion Sami Al Haddad with a group of his friends while they were on a fishing trip. This incident comes within the systematic campaign launched by the Qatari authorities against Bahraini fishermen, which is a clear breach of the Al Ula communique reached by the 41st GCC summit that was held last week in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In addition, the Qatari provocative practices are considered clear violations of the principles and conventions of human rights and international law. Social media Media activists condemned this incident, which they considered inconsistent with what was agreed on in the GCC summit in terms of good intentions to solve the Qatari crisis. They noted that what the Qatari authorities did only a few days after the summit does not reflect a serious desire for a reconciliation, but instead confirms that the Qatari authorities continue their hostile approach against the people of Bahrain. Bahrain Professional Fishermen Society, Bahrain Human Rights Watch Society, Bahrain Journalists Association and other independent human rights advocates hailed the royal directives assigning competent authorities to compensate Bahraini sailors affected by the Qatari abusive practices. In a joint statement, they commended the decision of the cabinet chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directing competent authorities to assess the damage, disperse compensation and protect Bahraini fishermen's rights. They commended the ministry particularly the Ministry of Interior, headed by Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, for their support for fishermen and keenness on tackling their problems. The statement was issued at the conclusion of a workshop themed Qatari violations against Bahraini sailors. The event was organized at the headquarters of the Bahrain Professional Fishermen Society in Amharag in the presence of lawmakers, representatives of associations, civil society institutions, sailors, and the families of Bahraini fishermen. Habib Abbas, who was detained in Qatar. The participants expressed the hope that the positive spirit which marked the recent GCC summit would benefit fishermen and enable them to exercise their profession without being subjected to the provocative acts of the Qatari Coast Guards and border security patrols, which confiscate fishermen's boats, arrest them, and detain them arbitrarily in Qatari prisons and disrupt their livelihoods. The participants said the Qatari practices against Bahraini sailors must stop immediately immediately calling for the release of the Bahraini sailors Habib Abbas, who was detained in Qatar. They said that they are looking forward to concerned Qatari authorities taking positive measures consistent with the resolution of the Al-Ula summit. The spirit of brotherhood that unites the Bahraini and Qatari people and the special relations and the bonds that unite the GCC countries.
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,849 with 238 recoveries and 287 registered new cases. 152 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 121 are contacts of active cases and 14 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.